experience out of the Cami car competition, first in solving problems. So they have to design a chemical engineering run car that goes a certain distance in a certain period of time carrying a certain amount of weight. And so that's the first thing. The second thing is this is their first real world experience in many cases to process safety. And process safety is going to be really important for the rest of their career in making sure that chemical plants and chemical operations that they design and run operate without incidents. They all share a common interest. Uh, they're all trying to see what the other person did to make their car so a certain distance stop. Is it fuel cells? Is it uh, sodium bicarbonate reaction? You know, what is it? And this is the singly largest attended event of all the AICHE meetings. And it's a, a great spirit building for chemical engineering. No other society has anything like it. The Kimmy Car Competition really started back and got it started in about 1995 when I was on the board of directors. Uh, I saw a need to have an open-ended type problems for the students to address. And Square One, something they could be creative. Most of their classwork is closed-ended problems. They calculate this, calculate that. We went with something that was a two-parameter problem and something they could design. to win the 2014 Kemi Car Competition. Just gives us confirmation that all of our hard work paid off. Well, I'd like to say we owe our access to the University of Utah Chemical Engineering Department, our advisor Tony Butterfield, Matt Hamilton, Mike Hansen, Joey Heath, all of our team here. We appreciate all their time and effort and all their ideas.